Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here, August 19, 2014, and continuing on here with the busting of our scammer, YouTube scammer, Beautiful Girl by Dana. Yes, folks, he's been blocking, he's been deleting, he's been name calling, or you'll hear a lot of stuff, and by the way, if you have kids around, get them away from the computer, because I'm actually going to play some footage here, some audio footage of how he treats someone on his radio show when the person lets him know that he didn't believe in his, uh, his theories of these 5,000 species and also tells him how he's contacted five uh, seafood merchants in on the Sunshine Coast and they all said all of his claims are absolutely bogus. We know that, but I just want to let you know that he's censoring, he's going to say some very nasty stuff, get the kids out of the room, he's even going to threaten someone. You don't want to hear your kids to hear this stuff. And, and by the way, it's very clear if you watch this video, and I hope you're watching Dana also because I'm going to point out here how you lie time and time again and how you misinform people because you have a lack of knowledge of the sea life and the marine life here on the west coast it's very clear in this evident and it'll be very evident if you watch this video and i'll leave a link by the way at the end here dana so you can actually buy a book and educate yourself before you head out there and spend their money uh, because according to you you're looking for what He's looking for signs of life because according to his past videos, if you've not noticed, um, it's there's nothing left. You know, the West Coast is dead. It's devoid of life. I, I think everyone's figured out here that uh, the Pacific Ocean is not dead from radiation. Um, he hasn't got a single shred of evidence. And in every one of his videos, he keeps pulling out the same pictures time and time again. Now, this is from last night's show here, folks. And I'm not going to go through the entire thing. But I'll tell you that within the first four minutes of this thing, you'll hear him talking about, in the first 27 seconds here, he talks about, there's no harm going to have a look. Well, according to you, you don't need to have a look, Dana. You've already gone up there for nine days, and you're coming back telling us all that 5,500 species have disappeared, which they haven't. But there's no harm going to having a look. No, we don't want you to spot spend twenty thousand dollars on a boat to go have a look to let us know that it's all there. If you just allow people to to post the information on your YouTube uh, comment section, we'd all know that you're lying and there's lots of life. So at a minute oh eight, he goes on to say that he went around two hundred kilometers. But like I said, he keeps talking about the same pictures over and over and over. Okay, it's sad here. I mean, the biggest, uh, another big, I don't know if he realizes it, but you know, at the 2 minute and 32 into this uh, video, he goes on to talk about how he, the phones were down all weekend, but he says, I was, all on, I was on the phone all weekend, and I said, I, 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 he says, I did a two-hour radio show. So which one was it? it, it was the, were the phones down or not? Who knows? At this point here, like I said, I'll point out here that he does not know anything. He seems to be lying. People have pointed out here that he can't even say the names of the towns in his videos that are on the West Coast. Do you folks get this? It's like saying you live in Montreal, but you say, I live in Montreal. You live in Montreal, Montreal, Tabarnak. You learn how to speak. If you can't say the words, and don't say them at all because people are going to point out that you're full of shit, buddy. So his latest thing here is he's telling them all snails. No, these are hermit crabs. I mean, I, I'm shocked. This guy can't even tell it's a hermit crab. What's wrong with him? Anyways, as I said, this is going to be an educational tour for him because he's going to find out uh, what he's been saying is nothing but bogus. So there's one picture there of a hermit crab. And there's another one there. So next time, Danny, you get on your videos, you're going to tell people that uh, these uh, <clears throat> snails with their legs and their antennas and their eyes <laughs> sticking out are snails when they're not they're actually all hermit crabs okay next lie okay so as i was saying the links are down below if you want to go watch this entire video please do so uh if you catch them lying why not give them a thumbs down you know um not everyone is stupid and going to follow along with this bullshit there's some of us that actually live on the west coast and we know what's going on and you know, you'll all have it figured out here by the time you're done watching this video. So he tries to debunk He's me. He's come out and said he went down to the wharf and seen a couple of fish. Well, they're further up the food chain. And there's a big flat-out lie. I didn't see a couple of fish. Jeez, I, I, I saw tons of fish. I mean, in fact, I didn't even videotape all the minnows that I, uh, that I came across, the schools of minnows, because the point of the video was not to go out and capture schools of minnows. I was out there to capture some of the other sea life that was kicking about. So, you know, the minnows in the picture were just a bonus shot, okay? just a bonus shot that's it just to back up that if everything was devoid of life then the minnows would be gone also right here in my harbor 
He went down to the wharf and he seen a scene, a scene enemy. Oh, I didn't see one. I saw a multitude of them. I think uh, and the video has uh, three or four varieties of them. Again, in my small little harbor here, and I point out that the, the city of Victoria, the harbor, is, is polluted. I, there's even garbage floating around in a couple of my shots. My goodness, congratulations. No problem. You went down to the wharf and you avoided the tide pool. Okay, yeah, I didn't avoid the tide pool. I actually went to small one small area. You know, it's not a what you call a big tide pool, but I have enough intelligence, Dana, to know that if I can go to a small little area in a small little harbor, a polluted one at that, right off the west coast here, where all this radiation you're saying has been falling down, and if everything was devo devoid of life in the in west, your Pacific coast here, everything was dead, well, there would be nothing left in my harbor, okay? And that's why I just went down and showed you just a very small, regular low tide that if there's marine life living right there, I guarantee if the water went down lower, there'd be more fish and more starfish. And yes, you don't mention the fact that I got, what, three different varieties of starfish? You don't mention the shrimp. You don't mention all the mussels. You don't mention the limpids. I got lots of sea life. You're lying to your friends. You're not even telling them about all the crabs that popped out from the rocks. Any fo anyways, folks, I got to continue on here because, you know, it's, it's all gone. Okay, last little clip here, proving he lies again. And she says, I'm wrong. There's life there. Well, we're not saying it's all gone. Yes, you are. In fact, your titles are actually implying that the... Um, the Pacific Ocean now dead, and you've actually said that that they're all gone, all 5,500 species, and the little, the other ones that are left, just a handful, a handful hanging on for dear life. He says. <laughs> I mean, we laugh. Anyone who watches this stuff, you know, you live on the West Coast, you realize this guy's a mental case. Honestly, I can't believe it that there's all these YouTubers that do the radiation thing. And by the way, if you've been following that, these local people, Kevin D. Blanche, Missing Sky, and, and Energy News, again today, another big fear mongering how the radiation hit the West Coast 10,000 times higher, blah, blah, blah. Hang on, folks. I've got some real data here, some, some real research, and it actually shows where the samples were taking. And, and it doesn't minimize, it actually tells you, yeah, right now it's low, but there's a good possibility that this is going to go higher, okay? So those of you that think that all of the biology and all the friggin' universities are all corrupt, and which I'm not saying they're not, okay? There's a lot of them that are, they're controlled. There are some independent labs out there that'll post some real information to let you know that, no, not everything is dead. Okay, so this is the part here where you want to get the kids out of the room because he loses it and he threatens and he swears he's bad. You can call your lawyer. I tell you, go there and you look yourself and you take the picture and you put the video up on the internet and you, you put it up on the internet and then you can call your lawyer. I tell you, fuck do that. You can't call me a lawyer. Don't call me a fucking lawyer. I'm not lying. He's here to scam. So anyways, that's an octopus, folks. Oh, boy. This, no way. It's private. Anyways, um, I've been having problems here with my internet. And um, those of you who haven't seen this one, go check this one. This is where he's lying, saying I've only gone to the beach and I've only found a few things. I found lots of marine life here, right in our small little harbor in Victoria. And another video you may want to check out is this one here, where I actually pulled out some footage here from September 1st, 2013, and it shows you that uh, these structures he talks about in his video last night, that they sink them and nothing's growing on them anymore, absolutely false. Go watch the video. There's lots of life in this short little video. Uh, these guys don't even move more than 20 feet by maybe 40 feet in a small little area there. And boy, oh boy, do they ever get a lot of, uh, of marine life there. It's, it's unbelievable. So again, Dana, you just want to lie. And I'm going to continue pointing out that you don't know nothing about what you're talking about. Hold on. Okay, so I got you on the, on the crab. You know nothing about the crab. Now we're going to continue on here with the, uh, well, the marine life and how much is actually out there. So there's over, according to these guys, 30,000 marine species, okay? Um, but it doesn't end there because if you go look a little further, you'll find out that uh, it's increasing every day at a rate of roughly one every three days. So it's not dying. We're actually increasing the, the amount here. 
Okay, Dana, this is where you really want to pay special attention here because it's going to go into hyperdrive so you can really get a hands-on on algae and seaweeds and understand uh, the different groups and what's going on and how many species, okay? This is very important because you keep saying all kinds of BS in your videos and it's obvious to many of us you don't know what you're talking about. So here they're talking about the 10,500 species of seaweeds classified in three different divisions according to their pigment and storage contents in their thallus. So we have rev, red algae, brown algae, and green algae. So folks, whenever you see brown algae anywhere, don't think it's the end of the world and they're all dead. Okay, and as I said, all the links here to everything you want to see, I'll leave it down below so you folks can spread this information because there's too much disinformation and too many YouTubers, well-known ones, are promoting the same lie here. Okay, so once again here, um, British Columbia is a veritable hot spot of seaweed biodiversity with approximately 650 macroalgal species found in the waters of the Pacific Northwest, folks. So think about it for a second. If they were all gone, do you not think that people would be talking about this? Obviously. There's no doubt about it. This person wants to mislead you. He doesn't want to give you this real facts. He's going to go at a low little tide without walking into the water anywhere. And because uh, uh, according, you know, he's in a wheelchair. So he didn't take the pictures. Whoa, God, that lets him off the hook an awful lot, eh? Anyway, so now what? We're going to blame Terry Daniels for not representing the true facts on the West Coast? Well, that's an easy way out. And by the way, I noticed a uh, YouTuber, what's his name? Nibiru Magic 2012. Well, now that the magic's gone out of Nibiru crashing and the whole 2012 fear mongering, and he's not working on climate uh, scam, or actually it wasn't a scam to him, it was actually a real climate change, he's now proceeded on to Fukushima and he was going to go on this expedition and he's backed out because what? He's got a criminal record. Folks, think about it. If he was willing to go six days ago and uh, he's backing out now, what changed from six days ago? Did you tell me he just found out he had a criminal record? And by the way, you can travel to another country with a criminal record, but I think he actually did the smartest move he could possibly have done. In the last six days, he's watched the videos here that I've, uh, I've been posting, and he's probably figured out for himself as part of a scam, but I think he already knew that. And uh, he's backing out because he, he reads the comments. You see how many people are against this crap. So again, when you're taking a look at a picture here from far away, and many of you look at this and you're like, oh my God, everything's dead. No, I think he, it's pretty evident here that there's all types of algae and you can't have someone just showing you one type and telling you it's all dead. Now, another good thing here, if you look up closely in this one little picture, which is what I've mentioned about uh, Beautiful Girl by Dana, all of his pictures, he's far away. There is life right in this one little picture. On top of the red algae, I hope you can see this, okay? Barnacles and uh, snail. Is it a hermit crab? I don't know, I'm not close enough. At this point here, I would probably say it is a snail. However, the point is, is, is there's life there and you can't have someone show you pictures like that or whatever and let you know, you know what, the rocks are bare and there's nothing here, folks. It's all dead, okay? There's lots of kelp. The problem is he didn't go in the water, neither did Terry Daniels, and he's telling you this bull kelp here has apparently disappeared. Folks, this is like a tree, okay? It grows 15 feet high. Uh, as you can tell here, this uh, the top part here is what floats at the very top, right? It's like a, a bulb of air inside there. And this long stem goes down, like I said, roughly 15 feet. So this is tracked here on the West Coast because guess what? Bulb kelp, uh, uh, sorry, bull, bull kelp is one of the most common Pacific Northwest brown macroalgae. So if this all disappeared, I guarantee you everyone would be talking about it, okay? A lot of universities here on this West Coast and a lot of people taking biology, okay? It's pretty evident. So, Dana, I'm going to leave you a little book here at the end. There's a link down below. You can get educated on the seaweeds because obviously you don't know what you're talking about and you're showing pictures like this and telling people there's nothing there when all you have to do is go up a little closer and find out that there's tons of life. Anyone can pull out a picture and say there's no life. But if you live out in the desert, you know there's lots of life. Okay, I'll leave a link down below for the current results here, but uh, you can hit the screen, uh, hit the space bar, and that's basically what they're telling you, folks. Here's the latest results here from August 14th, okay? Take care. Hope you enjoy the info. Spread it.
And by the way, the police have been called, not by me, others.